I think you might call this police intimidation. Okay, I'm going to take off my mask. All right, so when we came to CVS, our gang stalking police uh, arrived and parked right there, right in front of us. Um, then as we're leaving, our gang stalking police uh, left. And now here they are. I would say this is intimidation. They're standing in front of me in the middle of the aisle with their lights on. Now, would you call this police intimidation? I would call this police intimidation. Of course, these are gang stalking police who gang stalk with the Reds, our American Stasi. Now, Lindsey Graham knows about this. Members of Congress know about this. And they just let these bums get away with this. All right, so they just let them get away with this. Our right, gang stalking police. All right, so now are they trying to intimidate me? Standing there as I'm getting in my car? These, but are they being bullies? Are the police being bullies? Seems to me they are. Now, how do they get away with this? I've been gang stalked since 2006. That's an awfully long time in the United States of America to be gang stalked by police, by the Reds, our American Stasi, our neighborhood watch group. How do they get away with this? How does the Attorney General let them get away with this? Now, we know our intelligence agencies are corrupt. Our COINTELPRO loving intelligence agencies, we know they're being investigated by Durham. Uh, what did they do uh, during the election of Trump? How did they try to subvert that presidency? So we know we've got a pretty bad case of corruption going on with police who can gang stalk you for over 15 years with a Stasi with radicalized neighborhood watch groups who use red cars, red trucks, wear or carry red. Now, if you go to my website, stopgangstalkingpolice.com, uh, you can see, uh, I took pictures of when the police came here, so you can see pictures of that. Um, and you can see that when I left, they left. And you can see how they stood in front of the door as I entered CVS. And now you can see that they're kind of uh, just standing there as if to intimidate me. Now, why would they want to do that? Don't they want the, um, the United States to understand about government gang stalking and that police and firemen and ambulance drivers and EMS and neighborhood watch group members who use red cars, red trucks, wear carry red, don't they want the United States to know that they gang stalk ordinary citizens, not for one year, not for two years, but for over a decade, 24-7, unremitting harassment, that they get your neighbors to gang stalk you every time you leave your house, that they get them to uh, wake you up, make noise, use power equipment, constantly harass. This is going on in the United States. And we have to do something about this. Now, the, the people who should do something about this are the intelligence com in agencies in uh, Congress who are supposed to be doing oversight of our uh, intelligence agencies, because this is related to intelligence agencies. Uh, this is COINTELPRO kind of stuff that we've seen before. They used to call it red squads. So here they are. They're kind of staring me down. They're trying to intimidate me. Now, why would these big bullies, two police SUVs, be trying to intimidate me. Why would they do that? Because I'm trying to expose government gang stalking? Because I've tried to expose government gang stalking uh, ever since it started in 2006? Because I have successfully told lots and lots of people about what they're doing? You think that's why these bully police are trying to intimidate me? by standing there with their cars facing me, one with its headlights on, one with its headlights off. This is intimidation. This is outrageous. We have a constitution. We have a bill of rights. We have something called a due process clause. You can't just gang stalk people 24-7 for over 15 years since 2006. This is a Dick Cheney uh, project. This is a, he started this along with the neocons in the Bush White House. Globalists. All right, there they are. I'll just 
say goodbye to our corrupt police like the red squads of old intimidating doing whatever they please as if we don't have a constitution all right so here they are this is our gang stalking police trying to intimidate me here they are our gang stalking police trying to intimidate me but notice who left first. Notice who left first. Our gang stalking police. Gang stalking in America. An American disgrace. Expose it. Tell people about my website, stopgangstalkingpolice.com. Let's expose police gang stalking, firemen gang stalking, EMS gang stalking, ambulance drivers gang stalking, neighborhood watch group members who use red cars and red trucks, wear or carry red. Let's expose what's going on and has been going on since the Bush-Cheney administration.